What's up everyone and welcome to Ola Testing Today I'm trying out the Gary Holt G... Oh f what is it? What's up everyone and welcome to Ola Testing Today I'm trying out the ESP LTD GH600 Gary Holt signature guitar guitar was voted by you guys on a Sun with Ola. There's also a less expensive version, the GH200 maybe, but this is like a 1500 euro guitar. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard, Floyd Rose 1000, EMG 81 and 89 R, as in red, okay. Grover tuners, let me look at this thing. I'm not a fan of red and black, but holy shit, is this guitar not looking brutal as <laughs> Right here. This is the signature guitar of Gary Holt of Exodus, obviously, and also uh, of Slayer in the last couple of years. This guitar is based on the ESP Eclipse, and uh, I've owned a couple of Eclipse in the past, uh, ESP ones, and uh, right off the bat, like this, feels very, very familiar, I must say. The one thing that would be a little bit out of the ordinary is probably that it has a Floyd Rose, which is not really that common for single cut type guitars, but it works for this one right there. Today, I'm gonna use this Angle Savage 60 right here. And also with that, an Ibanez TS-808. Now, one of my favorite Exodus albums was uh, Tempo of the Damned, which was produced by Andy Sneap. Lo and behold, Andy Sneap, who makes everything sound absolutely amazing. And when I was a part of the Andy Sneap forum, I asked Andy what he was using. I don't remember if it was for Tempo of the Dam or the uh, the album later. At some point of it all, Gary was using Angle Savage, but for Tempo of the Dam, they were using like uh, PV Triple X and uh, sometimes also like Modern Marshalls and whatnot. But I figured I would pick out the Angle Savage for today and boost it with a Tube Screamer. I have some sort of recollection in my mind that this uh, that they used this on some album, but I don't remember which one. I have this Angle XXL cabinet with vintage 30 speakers. That's an SM57 microphone right there. That's an Austrian Audio OC18. That over there is a stereo microphone, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> Done. It's done, man. What I really like about Gary's tone uh, in Exodus is that it has an extreme amount of gain and a saturated gain, and it's just like... Everything sounds good, man. <laughs> These EMGs, I mean, there's just something classic about an EMG 81. It's, it always works, man. For metal, it's really hard to kind of compete with that type of active sound, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
right now I have the overdrive engaged. I'm shutting it off. <laughs> Which is nice, as it is, I mean, this angle savage is really awesome for gain. But to get that, you know, saturated push, you need an overdrive, okay? Okay, let's try a different split mode. There's a uh, split right here. Not sure it's doing anything on the bridge pickup. It's probably just for the neck pickup, so. So you get a little bit of single coil feel to the neck pickup if you, if you want. That's Very nice. That's the good thing about the EMG81. It works really well for lead as well as rhythm at the same time. I mean, this is the exact same as the rhythm tone. I just added this impress ecosystem delay. Do we have to do cleans? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Play it okay on the neck pickup. Nice. Nice, that was the clean, thank you. <laughs> when uh, I got this guitar, it was tuned to standard E with a 9 to 42 set. I popped in a 10 to 52 and, and tuned it to D, which is what Exodus has been using for the past albums. When they started out, they were using standard E. Standard D with a 10 to 52 set on a 2475 classic Gibson scale. It's just really nice. <laughs> Uh, something like that. <laughs> uh, this is 
this is a lot of fun. I'm actually really stoked on hearing the results uh, of this microphone setup right here. If you care, these are the settings for the uh, Tube Screamer right there. It's basically level on max, overdrive on zero, 11 o'clock, no, 1 o'clock on the tone, okay? That's a noise suppressor right there. Great. <laughs> This LTD is just very, very pleasant to play. If there's anything to complain about, I mean, I really like the guitar overall, but it's probably the finished neck, the uh, gloss neck. I would probably like to have something satin or oiled. And also that this little horn right here is a little, little short, I would say. So sometimes when I'm sitting and playing this thing, it kind of wants to, it kind of steers away a little bit. It kind of glides off like this. Just, it's just one, it, it wants to go behind you for some reason. I don't know. There you go, man. That's the ESP LTD GH600. Excellent guitar. Gary Holt is an excellent human being as well. I met him a couple of times. He's very, very nice. And uh, congratulations, man. This is a sick fucking guitar. If you like this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And to everyone who watched this video, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.